who knows nothing can understand nothing. Plunge deeper into the darkness and your heart will grow even stronger. Good tidings, everybody, and welcome to the welcome. Answer Report podcast. While that intro was playing, Jason, I look at Jason and I go, what episode number is it? It is episode number 56, I think. If I'm wrong, it's 57. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Mike, and with me as always, my brother Jason. Hello. Uh, yes, it also does mean, Blue, that I, I can't fart super loud and then cut it out, because this is the live Answer Report podcast, our first ever live <laughs> from our studio. Our studio, here yes. Here in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yes. Um. But yeah, it is episode number fifty six. Thank you, thank you, uh, two for letting me know. It's but, not the answer report if we're not sure what episode yeah, it is. I literally, I, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but I literally ask Jason every time what episode is this, and he goes, "I don't know," and then I have to go check on our podcast feed to see what episode it is. I, I but, feel like it's like a good luck ritual, though. It is. It is. <laughs> um, we are streaming this live on Twitch.tv slash Super Spaghetti Bros. For those of you listening at home later, uh, we're very excited. I'm very nervous. I, I. Don't remember what we're talking about today, but I wanted to open up this podcast uh, by um, taking a question from the chat. Does anybody in the chat have a question that they want about to ask anything? Us. It can be Kingdom Hearts related. That would be on brand. But if it's not, that's OK, too. Uh, thank you, Henry, for the fart in the chat. <laughs> that's a terrible idea. <laughs> it is a terrible idea, uh, Mel. Thank you. But we're, we're going to take one anyway. Um, unless nobody has one. Did we think we would reach the live point? No. no. Um, I mean, part of me's always wanted to have like a camera on us while we do this. But I want to get like a better studio set up before we do that a lot. But this live thing is really cool. Um, I think 2.0 came up with the idea when we were streaming. Yeah. So yeah. 2.0, take credit if you did. But... We wanted to have a subscriber goal, and then he said, "Why don't you guys just do a live one?" Um, and so we are. Yeah. He takes all the credit. Perfect. <laughs> what was our favorite remind boss, uh, Jason? Do you want to take this one first? I think my favorite remind boss was. I'm gonna have to say Vanitas. Vanitas, you like yep. Vanitas a lot, huh? Okay. Yep. His song is dope. His fight That's feels true. like fair. It's really fun, fast pace. You can block most of his stuff. Feels good. Yeah, it feels good. I liked Vanitas. I think my favorite was probably the one I beat first try, and that is Ansem Secret Darkness, the namesake for this podcast. I, I had yep. a good time fighting him, and I really like Shion too. Um, yeah, Shion is um, scary, scary, and I really like the way she's animated, and just she's just she's just really cool. But my favorite was probably Ansem. Great question. Uh, uh, Box asks, "What Final Fantasy deserves a remake after seven? I'm going to say 8, because eight's probably my other favorite besides yeah. 10. And I, I'd like to see an 8 remake, and I think that's probably where they're headed next. That would be that would be good. That it would makes good. sense. Henry asks, is a cereal bowl better than Demix? Um, at holding cereal? Probably not. <laughs> or yes, probably. The cereal probably bowl is better is. than Demix. Uh, <laughs> but for other things, I don't know. De Demix <laughs> is good at carrying like vessels. Maybe Maybe not carrying cereal. Yeah, who knows? Uh, Deputy Dougie Fresh, what up, Dougie Fresh? Says, Dougie what's our favorite Fresh. Kingdom Hearts memorabilia? Mm. Ooh, um, I really like my Riku jacket, even though it doesn't fit me very well. Um, I really like. I like my Kingdom key back yeah, there. Yeah, I was gonna say the Kingdom key is fucking dope. Um, yeah, that that that'd be my answer. Is is my jacket? Uh, Blue Kingdom says Dead Space win. Jason says next Halloween. Uh, <laughs> uh, two, two, 2.0 says uh, FMK with the Union S Union Cross characters. I almost said Union X. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't do the lizard emote, but imagine I could. Um, <laughs> well, oh man. Wow. This chat. This chat went fast. Oh, what up, Bio Roxas? What's going on, man? We're 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 big fans of your stuff. Yo, what up, Bio Roxas? Your, your, your uh, breakdowns, your your form change breakdowns are awesome. Um, young Xehanort. That makes us good at carrying bodies. Um, <laughs> Blue's gonna nuke us. Wait, what was the, oh FMK with the with the Union Cross people? Well, there's more than three. If you if you nuke us, 
I'm going to turn into one of those fucking ghoul things. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that. I'm going to um, call you smooth skin. I, I will I will F a said, just because he's a big bear man and I like it. Mm, okay. Um, I'll marry... Uh, uh, what's Hello? her name? Envy. Envy. Thank you. Envy. I'll marry Envy, and I'll kill. Um, you clever little sneak. No. Oh, oh, we gotta follow, dude. Thanks, Games Eternal. Appreciate dude. it. Um, I, I guess, I guess I'll kill um, Gula because everybody hates goulash. Yeah, fuck goulash. Goulash is not. Fuck that dude. Is, is what's your what's your answer to that, dude? Okay. Yeah, my we're already kill, at the FMK part of the My kill's podcast, already Cole. goulash. You already know. I'm going to have to say... Mm, <laughs> goulash. <laughs> mm. Dude, you stole my fuck a said, though. He's a big boy. Dude, I, I said... <laughs> I love a said. He's my favorite of the foretellers, man. I hope we get um, to fight him. Shit, well, I can't just copy you. Yeah, fuck, you can. Fuck. Goulash. <laughs> I, I don't want to marry Envy. I want to marry... Um, <laughs> I can't fucking think of her name. <laughs> hey, Wildcat Diana. Yeah, we can read you. Welcome to, welcome to Twitch. Hello. Welcome. We appreciate you making an account to hang out with us. I know you were like, ah, I might not chat, but She jump made an account chat. just to say hi. Ava. Yes. Thank you, Mel. <laughs> you couldn't think of Ava's name? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just like, uh, Dandelions. Uh, <laughs> she got a cute oh, wait, fox Wait, what about Ephraim, though? He's a cute boy. Yeah, but he's not, he's not like a... He's not a foreteller, yeah. but... That we know of. That we know of. Yes, kill Gula. Everybody's all about killing Gula. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Everybody, we're all on the same page. Um, right I just, at the beginning of the podcast. I literally just panicked because I never hit the record button, but because I set it up in the stream deck and yes. it started recording, oh my God, I just almost had a crisis. Dude, um, Mike, Mike was like before the podcast, I'm just like chilling, and Mike's over here like Kermit the Frog smacking the keys, and it's playing like the... Yeah, I was like coming up with all kinds of ways to make this He accessed like 80 to 90% of his brain power. Yeah, that's why... I saw him levitating off the chair for a second. I wasn't... Yeah, I was I was freaking out a little bit trying to get this all set up, but I'm, I think I did a pretty good job. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I was just anyway, Yoda sip. Let's <laughs> let's move on, Jason, because uh, need my phone. Um, Rehenry sent me a bunch of these today. I was aware of them before, um, but shout out to Rehenry for being like a a, a dope a dope uh, member of the community and sending me cool stuff on Twitter all the time because he's always there. He's yes. one of those people. Um. We're gonna read. Uh, and also, thank you to KH13, the website. They they um, translated a bunch of these character files from that book. Mm. Um, you guys, if you guys know what book we're talking about, I don't the I remember the name of the book. The Ultimania. But, oh, what up, Tyler? No, it's not the Ultimania. It's a um, um, uh, uh, what is the name of the book? I am a sucker for sitting. It's just called mind. character files. Yeah, it's called character files. Um, but basically, we're gonna read two. Yeah, the book that will never come to the English crowd. We're going to read two <laughs> translations um, from this for, for two characters that we really like a lot. Yes. Um, that don't really, let's just say they haven't had a voice. Yeah. Recently. <laughs> uh, and Jason's going to They need gonna to be read, represented. Jason's going to read the first one. I can't read. Yep. Yes, Jason can read. It's, it's a confirmed. He is not illiterate. Um, okay. And then we're going to talk about him a little bit. People love this garden where water, the source of all life, springs forth and fragrant flowers bloom all over. Tending to those flowers was part of our daily routine as guards. Gazing at the flowers, I remember the red rose I tried to take during my time as a nobody. That rose was a symbol of love, but it was also cursed. After all, love is but a curse. At the time, I thought its power was trivial. Someone once asked me about love. This was before the rose. The rose was cursed, and thus so, too, was the beast. And at the time, so was I, in a way. And I suspect that is why I was extinguished. Thoughts of Kingdom Hearts kept my heart lingering in a purgatory until it finally moved on to... What the fuck is this word? Erasure? Erasure. Erasure. It's like eraser, but like sure. Uh, I, it might be a typo. 
in short, a curse. <laughs> and thus our strong, overbearing feelings, like love, also a curse. A fragrant flower in my boorish hands. By nature, these hands know only the weight of a lance. But a flower is blooming in them all the same. I will not put it in a glass case. This flower will bloom right where it is. Why didn't we choose to leave things as they were? All I can do now is regret having gone too far. Now, for love, we'll leave things be. Beautiful. Erasure. Beautiful. Er Erasure. Beautiful job, Jason. <laughs> Beautiful job. So, um... Our, I our can't man, read. Our man Dalen. What a fucking edge. What an edge lord. <laughs> our man Dalen. 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 I don't know how you Dylan. say his name. Zaldin. Yeah, Zaldin. We've always Let's questioned how this like mild mannered guard who can barely speak is like this evil motherfucker when he's, <laughs> he's a nobody. He's the most badass. He's like number three. Right. He's number three, and he's like uh, just terribly like. Justice for Zaldin, dude. Right. I, I don't even understand how what evil the he is. Fuck? He's like trying to like turn the beast into a heartless. Yeah. And he's like I mean, the only the only time of like weakness is when Bell elbows him real hard and he's like Ugh. But that was kinda hype though. Yeah, that was kinda hype that they gave Bell <laughs> some agency there. But I will say, uh I, I can't believe he just wanted to bang Beast. Yeah. Sean, Sean 2.0 just threw me off. And Beast was, was like, <laughs> Beast was like, get out. <laughs> get he out. He just wanted to bang Beast. I've get never out. heard that theory, actually. But, I mean. It adds up, actually. Zaldan eats his own earwax? Yeah, I don't know about that, Blue. That That's a lot of earwax. He is a he is a badass, though, because yeah. he's one of the hardest members of the organization to fight in Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, yeah. And, and I remember... The first time playing that game, and Mickey Mouse comes to save my ass, and I was like, "Oh my god, this guy's tough!" And then he's even tougher when you, um, when you do the data fights and all that. <laughs> he probably puts milk in before the cereal. Oh. I will say, when watching the movie Get Out, and you watch that girl like pour the cereal in a bowl, and then she has milk separately, and she's like <laughs> eating the like. That's how you know she was clearly evil. Yeah, I don't. If you guys know what I'm talking about from the movie Get Out, that was the foreshadowing, right? This is sad. Alexa play Rox's theme. <laughs> <laughs> she played that. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Actually, she's probably gonna be like, bah, 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 play bah, bah. Despacito. Um, <laughs> but so this this gave us a little insight into Zaldin now that he is a full, complete being, um, and how he's you know, he's still apparently it's the guard's job to. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say, Holly, is so they have to garden, and they're also like an apprentice, and they're also like, oh, she does look like the girl from G The Game Theorist. That's true. The um, Matt Pat's wife. What is her name? Stephanie. Mm. He, they do look a lot alike. That is true. Mm. But yeah, it, it is kind of weird that they have to be like a gardener and a guard. Gardener. Guard? What? Do you think it's spelled like... G U A R. Do you think their garden inner? can like fly? <laughs> I don't think we're shaming his hobby, Sean. I think he he because he says, "Hold on, let me let me find it." It says, "People love the garden." Yeah, tending to this pause was for, was part of our daily routine as guards. So to me, that says that they were forced to do it. Yeah, because there there's really nothing else. That, I, and people wonder why Radiant Garden crumbled. <laughs> you have your guards. <laughs> Your main guards are like just fucking mismanaged, honestly. Just like planting <laughs> roses and stuff. Terrible. Okay, so now <laughs> we got through. We got through Dylan, Zaldin. I'm gonna read my boy Pure Strength. Pure here. Strength. And I, I will tell you guys, I had to go back and. Uh, oh yeah, I just saw a Sonic ad. <laughs> Hell yeah. I had to go back and listen to some uh, cutscenes from Recom of. Uh, uh, Lexius, pure strength speaking, because I was like, does he, does he even yeah, make noise? We couldn't find it, ah! and I had to like really look for it. He so was looking for at least like five, ten minutes. This might be a bad impression, but I'm gonna do my best. Here we go. I still have a vague awareness of somewhere. I don't understand it, but after I was defeated at Castle Oblivion, I lingered somewhere. I had intended to control the darkness, but I think I was the one controlled. I conceded defeat after I fought with Riku and I was extinguished. Perhaps even more than wanting my heart, I was allured by the darkness. 
Even Evan and Dylan, who were still unstable, after I awoke, I was fully conscious and had time to think clearly. And I keep thinking about it even now, although it's still hazy. What was that darkness? I feel like I still want the power that Riku had for myself. I had intended to take control of it, but instead I was defeated and erased. In the end, Riku used the darkness I urged him to command, so he did not fall into our grasp. If I had that strength for myself, maybe none of this would have happened. This world is beautiful and tranquil. It is this world that I wished for, but there may have been tranquility in the darkness too. Even now, I am seized by these thoughts. Perhaps I am not qualified to be an apprentice. Sad, <laughs> sad, sad guy hours right there. Oh my god. <laughs> the seven gardeners of light. Uh, fucking, <laughs> fucking Sean's got me with the, and my axe. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, and oh I'm sad, sad, I'm still at work, but I want to say what's up, guys. Love your podcasting. Yeah, dude. We'll be on your podcast your Friday, just like normal. Thanks for checking Thanks in, for our Russo. In. Thanks for dropping Thanks for hanging out. Um, this has been That music podcast. is really good. That's Goodbye. why I wanted to include it, but... So, yeah, it is top five, one hundred percent. Can seven guards? Do you think we can like... get a petition started to get me and Jason to be the voice actors of <laughs> Dylan we'll do and it. Alias in the next Kingdom Whatever Hearts game? Whatever you need, we will do it for free. <laughs> we will literally do it for free, so they don't have to pay us. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zaldin is obsessed with like love and flowers. <laughs> Alexius, even after becoming like a human, is like. I still kind of want that darkness thing. Right. Gardeners of the Galaxy. That's funny. <laughs> we should dub some scenes. We'll add we'll we'll write in some uh they don't even have like things to say though. The only time they really they It's like when they people voice is when he puts the hand on the shoulder. <laughs> it's like when people voice over like SpongeBob episodes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do something like that. Oh my god. But yeah, this this man this so far, man's still elixirs, about darkness yeah. for whatever reason. I I don't know. Just grunts. Just. <laughs> rah, rah. <laughs> so remind me why it took the Castle Oblivion folk a full year to regain consciousness along with the rest of Organization 13. So he kind of talks about that, how he just was kind of floating. Yeah. Like he he felt like he was there, but he wasn't. I, I don't know. I don't think they ever really explain it. Um, well, well, you see, it's because... Yeah, you, you, Terra you, North. You lay it out when for he us. stabbed everybody in the chest, like bam, 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 bam. He was the one who brought them into being a nobody. So then we, they had to wait until his nobody was destroyed for him to reform, for them to reform. Mm. Okay. That's just random bullshit. Blue says it sounds like it's there at the final world, the way he described it. Do they still need their heartlesses to be killed? Yeah, that that that's a good theory. Yeah, maybe. Sean and Nesquik are on the same one. Yeah, I I would say, I mean, we've talked about this before, but it was a super wasted opportunity to not have like, like, Zaldin's heartless somewhere. Right, that was just like this badass yeah. heartless you had to beat up. That that shit would have been cool. I would have been really into that, and that would have explained it. Yeah, they still needed their heartless, and they were all in the world that never was. Okay, that's a good theory, Diane. I like that. Yeah, we need to see their heartless. I need to, because like, if they were that strong willed, they had to have had some badass heartlesses. Right. right. Well, heartlesses? I mean, not not necessarily like all of them, because it has to do with like your darkness, right? Right. Right. Lexi's got a badass one. That's all I know. Yeah. It's it's fucking got a lot of strength. But, but Pure the, were strength. these guys really that they really have that much darkness in their heart though? I feel like they didn't. Well, Lexius, all his fucking, the thing you just read is this, man, man, this darkness, I kind of want it. Well, he was saying that now. Yeah. I don't know I don't know if he was like that before. Yeah, well, when he was a nobody, he was obviously obsessed with it, because he wanted the darkness powers that Riku had. What in the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Tara? <laughs> what? <laughs> What Tara, the, what did you do? What kind of griefing just oh happened? Oh my god. <laughs> Tara just banned Tyler. I don't know why. And she deleted nine messages. She must be on her phone and not know what she's doing. Can I unban Tyler? Yeah, you can. How do I do it? Sniped. <laughs> Tara, stop! Tara, what are you doing? Here, go to your uh, moderation settings. I need to ban her. You need just unmod her for a second. Where, I don't know what's going it? on. I can't. I can't read. My phone's been face down on the table at a restaurant. 
I'm at in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so Tara, so Tara was banning people by her phone, just like the 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 little scraps of food on the table <laughs> were banning people. <laughs> What the fuck? Nice job, Tara. <laughs> okay, all well, right. We're, we're we missed uh, we missed a bunch of chat stuff because it's yeah. very small. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. So what? What? <laughs> Tara banned me next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> no, we we got it, Blue. We're okay. We're all right. Tara Tara's just lost her damn mind. She's a loose uh, cannon. Uh, she's a loose cannon. So anyway, we were talking about <laughs> what the fuck were we even talking about? Holy we're, shit! We're uh oh hey Corinne, what's up? Yo, Welcome. try not to get banned. <laughs> Tara's dropping <laughs> Tara dropping nukes. <laughs> Holy shit! Um, God, am I that completely lost my focus? What we were talking about? <laughs> Uh, Tyler, are you here? There Whoa. we go. We'll play that. Tara deleting people. Yeah, is Tyler? Is Tyler? I know Tyler didn't actually Tyler, get please. banned. It was probably Jiminy on Tara's phone. Yes. For sure. He was fucking under the phone. For sure. Darkness. Yo, what up, Jester? All right. Anyway, back where you're saying. Hey, Tara, you Dillian have to alias, fight it. Whatever. They're we read their things. They're cool dudes, but where are they heartless? Yeah, they're such cool characters, and it really sucks. That they're not being utilized yeah, correctly. We wanted to give them a little shine, a little spotlight because it's we, a damn shame. We, it's a shame that they didn't even get to talk in Kingdom Hearts three. I wish there was a Phil character file that was translated so we could read that because he's the other uh, right. He's the other boy that, and that his was understandable because it was like the Japanese voice actor died I'm, and they did that to show respect kind of thing. I'm checking but. the Discord just to make sure Tyler's not guys, I'm, uh, help me, I'm in purgatory. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the I final mean, if he world. Is, if he is, there's nothing we could do. They, they banned him to the final who world. Would, who would we make a character file for other than Phil? Good question. Um, mm. I, I, need to t- I need to know what Pence is thinking. Mm. I, I need to know where just, he gets his dog street it's apparel. Just, dog street, dog street, dog street, dog street, dog street, dog street, dog street. I, I need to know. Um, I need to. There, there, is there like a love triangle with Hainer, Pence, and Olette that that's not spoken about? I don't think so. Do you think like Omelette likes Hainer, but Hainer's not into it? But then. Uh, but Pence also Pence, likes Hainer. Pence, yeah, Pence also likes Dude, Hainer. Yeah. And he's also not into it. <laughs> Tyler was sent to Shibuya. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, we don't have any merch news right now, Blue. We We will soon, hopefully. Yes. The lady that talks about the candles that you have to put out in Traverse Town and Kingdom Hearts 1. Yes. Mm. Yes. I, I want a character file on that. I could see Hainer and Pence being gay. I could see it, too. Yeah. Or just one of them. Yeah. It's possible, too. Um, They all love eating ice cream together. Dog Street. Do, do, all right. Do, 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 so do, 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 we're going to move on. We, we have another segment. Um, And I think you guys are going to be pretty excited about this segment because it is a classic segment that we don't often do. But it is time, Jason. Do you know what time it is? Union Cross Five Minutes! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Everybody's oh freaking my god. out! Oh out. my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jason. Here we go. If you guys that don't know what the Union Cross Five Minutes is, Jason has been playing Union Cross. From the get go, so we don't have to, and then he's been explaining Union Cross to us shortly. The, the uh, small release of content by small release of content, um, and then he took a break. He took a hiatus, and now he's back with with Dark Road on the horizon. Jason is back. Oh, dude, oh, Dougie Fresh, thanks for the shit. sub, man. Holy cow! Appreciate Holy it. Holy shit. Oh, I'm sorry, Holly. I, we're not going to read the, the manga. <laughs> Please help Tyler. Jim baited. <laughs> Jason, uh, your five minutes of Union Cross starts now. All right, guys. Since we're all here together, I just want to let you know I don't even have the game installed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! 
Oh no! And the timer didn't even start when I hit it anyway. So it made the beep noise. It made the beep noise. <laughs> Jeff made it. <laughs> the best way to play is to not have it installed. However, uh, not gonna lie, you guys did just get baited. But that's okay because we actually. <laughs> I, I know I've said this before, but I want to make an official announcement. Yes, official announcement about. The, the the Union Cross five minutes. We are rebranding it for the future of the podcast. <laughs> Once Dark Road releases, we will be doing Jason and Mike's Union Cross slash Dark Road five minutes. We will be rebranding it. It will come back, and we will both have something to say. And Jason, being a former Union Cross player, has a pretty good collection of the medals you need that cross over into Dark Road. Or, like, I don't think they've really explained it. They haven't really explained it, but he has a lot like more than detail. I have, which is zero. Zero of those medals. So we're going to kind of compare and see exactly what the difference is if yeah. you have the medals and if you don't. Um, please sing Dark, Dark Road, Take Road, Me Home. Take Me Home. Yeah, I'll sing, Dar- I'll sing Dark Road, Take Me Home every time. You, <laughs> you know I love that jam. Hell yeah. Dark Road, 358 over two minutes. Ooh, I like that too. Ooh, we just do it for two minutes. <laughs> we like each it. get two minutes. <laughs> please, yeah, please, we hope you will be excited and look forward to this. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, we, we wanted, we kind of baited you a little bit. A little bit. We wanted to, you know, have some fun with Anyways, it. Anyways, all in good fun. Please don't be bad. So um, here's the thing. I just realized we forgot to do something before this podcast, Jason. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. And Tyler, whoa, whoa. if he's not banned, whoa. will um, whoa. have to... Um, Tyler, at me on Discord if you're banned, by if the Ty- way. Tyler, if you're banned, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Tyler really wanted us to read the Anchor ad that we do every podcast. Mm. Uh, and we didn't even listen to it beforehand. <laughs> so, true. <laughs> we're going to... We're gonna take a quick break, quick break, and we're gonna leave. We're gonna have a couple ads for you guys. He said he can see the chat, but his messages can't be seen. What the heck, Tyler? All right, let me. While we take a quick break, I'm gonna try to fix that real quick because I want Tyler to be here. So this is actually the ad we're gonna do. Can be whatever lies beyond this Twitch stream is a little later. Here's on. the real ad, okay, everybody. Sonic America's Drive-In, okay? If you want quality food from a restaurant at a cheap price, you will go to Sonic America's Drive-In. I suggest trying their Nerd Slushy. Ooh. And uh, Ooh. they will uh, put nerds in the slushy. Yeah. It's like you know. slushies are like, you know, already like sugar ice right yeah and then they just drop sugar candy balls of sugar in the cup also uh <laughs> i'm on <unsubby. laughs> also they have this thing called a hey chili this is cheese. an ad it's not our it's not our fucking fault okay a chili <laughs> cheese frito pie <laughs> where they just put fucking chili and cheese and chips inside Fritos. of fucking okay guys sonic is terrible i can't do it anymore sonic is a terrible restaurant don't ever go there. They you try to get a chicken strip sandwich and then they surround it with bread and there's like two chicken strips and they're awful. No, oh, this is an ad. Me. This is <laughs> this is an ad, dude. Sonic is a bad place. Don't go <laughs> there. There's my ad for the day. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna reverse the order of things right now. I'm gonna do a um, switcheroo. This, yeah, this is Super Spaghetti Bros lore. This is this is uh, doing audible. Do an audible ad. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I I would, but I don't remember the uh, <laughs> I don't remember the link. <laughs> it's it's uh, audibletrial.com no, I, I was slash Ansem Report. Was being, I was being funny so that you can get a free Audible trial. We are actually not going to do an ad right now. What we are going to do right now is this is a lore dump. The secret. And some report report starring our good friend, Blue Kingdom. Here we go, Blue. Take it away, Blue. Apart from Namine, nobody's retained their memories of their time as humans. But Sora's nobody. Roxas 
has lost Sora's memories. This is likely because Sora's time as a heartless was short. Having recovered his heart and returned to his human form soon after leaving behind Roxas, his nobody, <laughs> it would seem Roxas is much like Namine. Namine is Kyrie's nobody, but came into being via Sora's body and soul. Likewise, Roxas is Sora's nobody, but was left behind because Sora's heartless regained human form using Kyrie's heart instead of his own. It may be that Sora's memories are slow to return because the half of him that is Roxas is still lacking. I must convert Roxas into Data and return him to Sora. As a member of Organization 13, it was exceedingly difficult to bring Roxas in. Having lost to Roxas once, Riku laid everything on the line and used the power of darkness in their second battle only just managing to bring Roxas back with him. But Organization 13 grows nearer. Here, Twilight Town, is where Roxas was reborn as a nobody. This is where Roxas first encountered Organization 13 and joined its ranks. They are bound to search this place thoroughly. First, I shall convert all of Twilight Town into data and construct a world duplicate in Sora's memories. I shall place Roxas within that world to live out his days and regain those memories. There is little time. The organization schemes must be making steady progress as well. Who's there? Who are you? Restoration at 12%. All right. Thank you, uh, Blue Kingdom, for the Ansem, secret Ansem Report report. I like that little ending. That was the spicy. ending was tight. It spiced it up it a little bit. It was tight. Uh, Tara wants me to formally apologize to Tyler and and Mel for banning them. She was just <laughs> trying to support us by being at the restaurant and uh, watching, but then she saw everybody was talking about her in the chat and was like, "Why? What is going on?" Uh, Blue, thank you again. So let's talk about. Um, <laughs> It's a secret answer report number 12. So basically, this is just describing the process uh, that Diz, dumbass Diz, as I like to call him, the dumbass Diz, what do we call it? Dumbass Dumb Diz report. Dumbass Diz report. Um, this one's like be a little bit better than the last one. It so. is. It is because it's, it's not shit that like, it is shit that like we learn later, but it actually. The, the the thought process is actually there as opposed to like some of the other ones. It's just like, I know this and I know this and I know this. And I'm plotting and I'm scheming and I'm writing it all down. Yeah. Yes, or, it has substance. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. And it's and, like, not like, I just happen to think it, that it's exactly what it is. Right, yeah. So we, we, do, uh, we do enjoy this one a little more. He actually talks about the process of converting Roxas to Data. To which data. he later, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 spoilers, but he later tries to convert the Kingdom Hearts moon to data, and that doesn't go well for him. Um, but it works out in the end, actually, for no reason. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it yeah. helps Riku. <laughs> right. Yeah, Riku becomes himself again, but uh, you wouldn't download the moon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's trying to download the moon, and, and it's pretty silly, but he does download Roxas. Yeah. 
the ultimate torrent. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, so <laughs> free Roxas download, no virus. We um <laughs> Yeah, free Roxas download, no virus. <laughs> we um, Roxas. No, it'd probably say it'd probably say because when I when I used to like bit torrent stuff like music back in the day, mm-hmm. it would be like System of a Down sings Legend of Zelda, and it like wouldn't be right. It would just be some <laughs> dude. So it'd probably be like, oh, Ventus, download Ventus for free, no virus, and it's really Roxas. <laughs> no, um, it'd probably be the other way around. Everybody wants the Roxas download. Yeah, that's true. I, I would but rather would have just Roxas. Be Ventus. No offense, Ventus, but I'd rather have Roxas. Yeah. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. We just spitting straight facts on yeah, the answer before straight podcast. Facts. Spitting straight facts. I just realized <laughs> I forgot to do the in the ad, oh. so that sucks. Um, but that's first okay. seven days is a trial. No, it's the first three hundred fifty-eight days. Okay, yeah. Quick poll. Quick. Fifty-eight. Quick poll in in the chat. Would you rather have Ventus or Roxas? Yeah. It, it downloaded. I have dropped a lot of balls. This is true, but this is my first live podcast. Don't tease me. I vote Roxas. Mel says no no choice. People are voting Ventus, really? Oh, really? smile. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I mean Roxas. That's what I fucking yeah, thought. Yeah. <laughs> I download Roxas anytime. The huh? data is corrupt. Roxas, I don't know if I like how you said that. Ventus, because Scold is my alter ego. Okay. Okay. Both cool. smile. Cool. Ventus. Yeah, I, I download Roxas for sure, because he's got the dual wieldies. And he's a sweet well, boy. Fucking Sora, Sora says both. He said both them bitches in my heart right That's now. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, they're essentially the same, except like both. Smiling. Ventus is kind of lamer. Just saying, Roxas. Okay, he has some moments, but like Roxas, every moment is a moment. There is um, another question I want to ask you guys. A little crowdsource question. Tyler pointed this out to me because he's he was watching our. Um, Kingdom Hearts 2 Let's Play that we have on our YouTube channel. And this is a question I've never got answered. Why does Roxas say Ralph? Ralph. He goes, Ralph, when he when he fights yeah. in Kingdom Hearts 2. It's like one of his finishers. He just goes, Ralph, like that. Maybe Jesse McCartney was in the, the booth, right? Mm-hmm. And his, his, his sound guy, his name is Ralph, and he fucked up a really good recording. And he's just like, Ralph. And then they what just the in, they just included it in the game. Yeah. <laughs> that would make sense. That, that's be, my that's my head cannon. That that's a good head cannon. Ralph is like Shion. No one remembers him. Oh no, not Ralph. <laughs> Poor Ralphie. He's a good boy. Sora is everyone's dad. Sora is everybody's dad. Sora's my dad. Poor Ralph. Who? <laughs> was, blue, was Blue not listening to us at all? W H Omega Lol. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, if anybody can give me the answer, I got Dog Street answered. If you want to get Tin Foil Hat crazy, Roxas is based off Ventus, who in Union Cross is connected to the player who meets Ralph. So there's your heart map. Oh my God! Oh, Wreck It Ralph. We're gonna find Cage Five. We're gonna find out Wreck It Ralph's been there the whole time. Maybe he's trying to use a summon. Ven awakens my mother in six note kitchen. So don't mock him. Whoosh. Mm. Okay. So Wreck It Ralph is the most popular theory I've heard. <laughs> Is that <laughs> you did slightly KH2 blue. predicted the movie <laughs> Wreck It Ralph because that wasn't even a thing. Oh my god! Oh man, the time travel, the time travel lore gets bigger and bigger. They're on that Simpsons bigger. level shit. So <laughs> now, guys, it's time for a segment that everybody loves. Everybody, everybody, if, every single person. I swear loves. to God, if I see a single person, hey, hey. We already fucking banned two people because today. You don't think I'm going to fucking ban you if you say you don't like this segment? It'll fucking happen. It's a segment everybody loves because... The credits? All right, Blue's banned. That's it. <laughs> because it's all the answers are from you guys. Don't bait us again. It's time for the question <laughs> of the week. Play some little music for you guys. Jason hates this song, so he's really mad that we're going to play this. This is not bait. We're not baiting you guys this time. This is the actual question of the week. I have it pulled up on my phone right now. Oh, thank God. Dude, Sean, that's not a debate. So. Yeah, it's the monster. (laughs) This is the worst version, too. God damn it. So, the question of the week that I asked was. Sorry, Union Bleeder. Um. 
What was the turning point for Master Xehanort to become... Music is loud. Okay, yeah, hold on. Yeah, I was going to say it's loud. Well, it's loud for us because this doesn't affect our yeah. thing. But there, I turned it down a little bit. Um, this needs to play in bars. So... Yeah, when the bar is closing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. All right. Um, what was the breaking point for Xehanort? What made him become this evil man that we know from the young chess playing boy with a cool coat to an evil bald man with a with a with a coat so what we're gonna do is <laughs> i'm gonna read through the ones on the discord and then if anybody else wants to add theirs that didn't yes. get a chance to put in discord we will do that after okay so first we have mickey mouse also known as sean 2.0 also known as legion tyler and it says <laughs> it sounds to me that the Master of Masters radicalized Xehanort, pushed him to become disillusioned with, I guess, the light. I think it's kind of hard to say what exactly caused him to snap, and that's a lot of the reason I'm so excited for this story. Mm. Okay. How dare you? Thank you, Legion Tyler. Uh, You've been radicalized. <laughs> Just like, what the fuck is this music <laughs> for this segment? <laughs> Come on, man. It's good, all right? It's good. Uh, <laughs> Colbert Sean Sean, also known as Co Kaguru, uh, says, Xehanort <laughs> saw all the slash fiction tags slash warnings the other students in Scala were writing about him, oh, and no. thus began his downfall in the darkness. It started with, this is so fucked up, I can't look away, and became more darkness. Oh, my God. Just a Red Nocturne says, this is probably more like a boiled frog. No one thing just turned him. He gradually just gets fed up with the world and his mm. teenage angst wins over reconciliation. Mm. He couldn't accept the world as it was. <clears throat> if I want to be big brain, maybe he saw the side of the fairy tales as they originally were. The Brothers Grimm versions, where Sora and Union Cross saw the Walt's influence side. Mm. 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 Okay, all right. Maybe Five Head. Yeah, mm. maybe. Maybe. Mm. Drek to Drek, or Drek the Drek, as he's more known on YouTube, says, hopefully he realized that a light versus darkness thing is fucking stupid. Light equals every good thing you can think of, and darkness equals, equals every bad thing you can think of? Just go around cleansing the universe of darkness? That's a gross oversimplification of real life and morality. Injustice will always exist. You used your heart of light to help a friend land a job? Great. You doomed a single mama three, a wheelchair-bound recovering alcoholic, and a godless heathen with a foot fetish to starve in the cold. People will always spread darkness and also light because both are natural. Either side, the important part is to accept both, preserve your sense of agency, and avoid extremism. Forcing people to hide and shun their darkness is like telling people that abstinence programs work. Looking at you, Ericus and Tara. I liked that answer. That oh answer was God. wild. Okay. I'm going to read our Russos right now because he posted in the chat. Or uh, Yes. Okay, I'm pretty sure that after the chess game, as he was walking away, he stubbed his pinky toe on the table next to where they were playing. Once he recovered, he then stubbed the same pinky toe on a chair that was next to the table. Boom. Darkness. And then stepped on a goddamn Lego. <laughs> and then <laughs> Strawberry Mango says, Xehanor got mad when Ericus took him to Sonic Drive-In and they got served shitty food by a dude with a fake Asian accent. Hell Absolutely yeah. That, fucking that's repugnant. That's what turned me to darkness. Repugnant. That's what turned me to darkness, everybody. All right. Uh... <laughs> Draco32 says so the man the rise of Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more likely he saw the last Jedi in no, its entirety. What happened is he finally found his master, right? And he hands him his keyblade and he chucked that keyblade behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning that down a little bit. Uh <laughs> Draco says, the Master of Masters, as we all know, is young Darsidious, plays young Xehanor as he did Anakin to bring balance to the Force, off-shifting the overwhelming amount of light that, in his perspective, <laughs> plagued the world. What? Star Wars is Disney now. It can happen. Oh, my God. So that, that fit in with what Sean's saying about the Rise of Skywalker. I think, uh, yeah, it's always it's Mark always Hamill's Always Mark fault. Hamill's fault. Hey, Ericus is an absolute buffoon, okay? He's a buffoon. The box on a dark road trip says the character file seems to imply that Xehanort had reverence for Erica's lineage and thought he could never complete because of that. Or compete, not complete. <laughs> he 
He could he couldn't complete, Jason. He couldn't complete. Cannot complete. Uh, I'm oh, I'm gonna complete. Uh, he thought he could never compete because of that. I'm thinking of a situation similar to that of pure blood wizards and muggle born wizards in Harry Potter. Both can use magic, but the pure blood can boast that they inherited the gift from a long line of powerful sorcerers, while the muggle born one cannot. Obviously, in Harry Potter, the rules are very vague. No metachlorians to speak of, lol. Since the magic system itself is very vague and inconsistent. But we could assume that Xehanort would think of himself as less suited to be a Keyblade wielder just for this reason. Yet once he finds out what they made Ericus less yeah. Yet once he finds out what made Ericus special in his eyes really meant nothing, and darkness is the only true source of power. In the character files, he says he can't really consider Ericus his friend anymore because of how weak he is. That would unavoidably make him question everything that he was taught in Scala. Which we can assume include the teachings of the light that Ira mentions. It's a, so it's very cool that the Master Master himself is the one who plants the seeds of doubt in young Xehanort's mind, since he's the same guy who supposedly passed down those very teachings. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Interesting, Box. I like that. I like that. Mm. We're getting a little five head yeah, over here, this isn't is we? Getting, this is getting to six head, man. This is this is wild. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, seven head. Seven head, eight head, 13 darkness head. Wildcat Diana says, what Xehanort as a character seems to go through in his youth seems to be a disenchantment with the system. So it might be a slow build from that in the dark road. From what we can gather from the scenes in KH3, he had access to information about the lost masters he was not supposed to know and met the master and masters he had read about during his pilgrimage. We can maybe piece together that during dark road, he is going to learn about all sorts of things he was not supposed to know and will put him on a bad relationship with his masters. Also, there is always a girl in a trio. If her death, we can assume that she is dead at the beginning of Birth by Sleep, is a result of, in his eyes, system hypocrisy, maybe all those things together make his eyes go yellow at the end. Hmm. And look for a way to get Ven. Remember, Nomira said in an interview that we were going to see how Xehanort found him, and in the recent Ven short story seems to imply that both Ericus and Xehanort know who the little boy in BBS is already. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. See... That's why I'm always I'm always reading in our Discord. Wildcat Diana's always in there, just saying all kinds of like crazy lore that I didn't even think. Galaxy about. brained. Like I I'm like a three brain dude. <laughs> I, a three brain. A three okay. brain. Instead of a five head, I'm a three brain dude. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do you think there's gonna be a scene then where it's like the the Ericus and the, the the girl in the trio? are uh, like, oh no, Xehanort's being, he, he's turning to darkness. And then they go, and then young Xehanort's like, you brought him here to kill me. <laughs> the weird ass boy. I don't think that's going to happen, no. And she's like, no, no, I did it. <laughs> Best scene. <laughs> uh, Broomdock says, I'll keep it short and sweet. The Master of Masters interferes with Xehanort and Erica's Mark of Mastery exam in the exact parallel to what Xehanort does to Terra. He follows a similar pattern, educating Xehanort in the ways of darkness and secret. <laughs> By the time Xehanort finally passed the exam, he'd been changed forever. Yeah. Well, it, it could be... Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, oh Jason's got a, got a five-head okay. theory right now. Red alert, red alert. Okay, so... God, Master Xehanort of Masters is there when he's young Xehanort. We're uh -huh. assuming it's in his time because he doesn't have, like, it's normal time, like, not time travel. Right. So that means that Master of Masters, he's already either time traveled, like, he's either vesseled there or whatever. So mm -hmm. he has to have some type of uh, uh, form of himself, right? So that means, well, okay, so. He already knows what's going to happen because young Xehanort, at that point, he has that keyblade because it's in the cutscene right. when they're playing chess. Right. Or his master has it, right? So you're either going to get introduced to a guy who's either like possessed by the master of masters or maybe he has the box or something or maybe... Like, you know, like with Lose You. Sorry, there's just a lot of Star right? Wars quotes going out in the chat, and they're making me laugh, so I'm trying to focus Don't on what you're me, saying. That's what happened when you were reading the, the other one. <laughs> you turned her against me. <laughs> this is where the fun begins, isn't it? <laughs> um, uh, Mel, Mel did say Jason's five-minute segment over. Jason's five-brain segment begun. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> I blame Jiminy as always. Of course. Of course. Oh, dude, Boomer is in the chat. What's up, Boomer? What up, Boomer? Um, all right, moving on. Sir Bamalot says he got a job in retail and realized that people are assholes, so he embraced True. the darkness in order to purge the world and therefore start anew with people who aren't assholes. Kyrie's bro, our good friend Kyrie's bro up in Canada says, <laughs> it just keeps going. I know they just keep they just keep <laughs> posting the Star Wars. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. My allegiance is to the Republic, to democracy. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Kyrie's bro says, so I feel like maybe the reasoning behind him going down a dark path is because of three things. Number one, being the master masters leading him down it. I will do Number what I two must. is the secret third classmate and whatever happens to her. And number three, I also believe that master masters is maybe inside the box. And I believe Zigbar maybe loses the box and young master Zaynort finds it and releases him. So it's fi the finding of master masters and the planted seed in his head and whatever the outcome of the missing classmate is. Hmm. God damn it. I keep looking up after I read you it. You will blue, try. Blue, blue's just like posting the litter the it's literal time manuscript. Old things from die. The wrench of the Kill slip. it if you have to. You <laughs> underestimate my rower, Raggy. <laughs> <laughs> Skills for Hannah. What the fuck? Wait, what is that? Oh, Sean. Sean's has gone off the rails. Is that like the chant? I don't even know what that is. Uh, yeah, I, All right. Uh, Skittles for Hannah says, when Xehanort was 14, he discovered Green Day and realized the world was a terrible, corrupt place. True. So he decided to embrace the darkness to help him cope with this realization. True. Duel of the Fateds. Okay. I was going to say, I <laughs> thought it was Duel of the Fates. I was just like, I don't know what they say to her in that, but that makes sense. <laughs> I kind of like Duel of the Fateds. I feel like that's a, that's some fucking Kingdom Hearts shit. Duel of the Fateds. And then finally, the eternally griefed Tyler Tylerims says, <laughs> I'm not really a theory boy, so maybe young Xehanort went through a few Disney worlds, saw how the heroes would rise to beat the villains, and saw it as some sort of injustice. Something, something. Those without power just take it from the ones who do and convince themselves they've earned it. Who knows? So that was the question of the week. Does anybody have any... Uh, <laughs> Does anybody have anything to say in the chat that's not a Star Wars quote about the question of the week? How Xehanort himself turned to be a bad guy. Jason, do you have an answer for this? No, but I just want to point out a couple things that we know. Okay. One, everyone submit. must submit. Yeah. Two, no, one, is we know... Xehanort was a boomer. That that's how it happened. The Master of Masters was the mentor... For all of the foretellers. Okay. And the foretellers were the mentors for everybody else, right? So we got who we're assuming are the good guys, and he's in charge of the good guys. Mm -hmm. Well, he's also in charge of Luju slash Zigbar and Young Xehanort, which are the bad guys. Mm. So he, he he he's on both sides right now. Jip says, I blame Jiminy, but the chat goes too fast. But in all seriousness, I think the question will be answered very soon. Why else would they include that scene in Remind? Yeah. That's true. That's true. Master of Masters is a psychopath. True. <laughs> Sean says, I think Master of Masters is Dennis from Always Sunny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, this is what I have to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to go get some Sonic Strawberry Mango? Enjoy it. <laughs> we are sponsored by Sonic America's Drive-In, so that makes sense. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, uh, uh, what's that? It's time for another Sonic ad reading. Hey, guys, you should go to Sonic America's Drive-In. You didn't We're... do the... Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. There we go. It's time Son for an ad. Sonic America's Drive-In, where you can get... Um, <laughs> Strawberry Limeade. You can get a Crisonic... <laughs> You can get a croissant, which if with cheese and egg and sausage, it's it, delicious. Uh, it's sausage and egg and cheese on a uh, croissant, dude. A croissant. <laughs> uh, and if you I, eat uh, it, you definitely won't shit your pants. Uh, Sonic's a great place to go. Definitely go there. <laughs> also, stri strawberry limeade, uh, and they'll throw sugar in it. Go to Sonic. 
Thank you, Sonic, for sponsoring this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> wow right. thanks to sonic wow that was a great ad yeah what an ad everybody drop an ansom emo in the chat for sonic <laughs> thank you yeah, thank you sonic our next ad is about raid shadow legends <laughs> uh, no <laughs> goat nort changed because he was lactose intolerant but he kept eating dairy yeah mm. that Dude, I everybody I know that's lactose intolerant just keeps eating dairy. They just fucking eat cheese all day, <laughs> and I go, "Why do you do this?" And they go, "It's really good." Wait, can I see this? Yeah, they go, "It's really good," and I'm like, "What? <laughs> what? Why? Why would you? Why would you continue to eat cheese and milk if you, you know?" Hmm. I was trying to make it so we had more room, but it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. Raid Shadow <laughs> Legends makes me miss GamerGate. But you can you get a new champion with Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, Jip, are you a lactose person that eats cheese? Mm. Do you do you get those pills for it? Or do you just you just or do you deal just with do the it shits? anyway? Because most just people, deal it. it's like there's there's pills and they're they're supposed to get them and they just eat it anyway. And it's like without the pills, and it's like why would you want to just shit yourself every day? Blue Kingdom is just the definition of a shit post right now. Yeah, Blue Kingdom is <laughs> shit posting. Like you just crazy. live with the shits, okay, Jib? I respect it. No, I respect it too. I respect it's, it. It's solid. Okay, so, um, that's that's all I really had planned for this live version of the wow. podcast, which is pretty normal. It's about an yeah. hour, maybe well, a little less. Okay. We already did the question of the week. Yeah, and we have not announced. A we have next not announced question. the next question of the week. So. What I'm going to do is I like to uh, – basically all of our content is just, it's just from you guys. guys. So, so, yeah. Don't, oh, don't worry. We're not we're not done streaming. We're just done with the – No, no. We're, we're not done with the podcast either because I need to know what you guys think the next question of the week should be for and next also, week. Also, if anybody has a theory actually that's not <laughs> just Star Wars lore for why <laughs> young Xehanort turned. <laughs> yeah, let us let us know if you actually have a theory. Uh. Um. Yeah. What do you guys think the question of the week should be next week? Let, let's uh, let's get some good. Uh... I just love that it's like seven people. Yeah. Like, they're just all like quoting Star Wars. Holy cow! Do it. Do it. Do it. Strike, Strike me down with your anger. Do it. I, I like how he does the like. Yeah. Strike me down with your anger. Oh no, I'm only. <laughs> <laughs> the way you were doing it killed me. Like your face. Yeah, that's what he does. Now you will die. Now you will die. If you guys ever notice that Palpatine, he always like he'll put his hands out for like a good two seconds before he actually shoots the lightning. Unlimited power. Like he'll just be like, ah, like that. Like it's like if Darth Vader was like this, and it's like, what am I gonna do? What What am I gonna do? You don't know what I'm gonna do. It's got a charge. Okay, I guess that makes sense. But like Mace Windu co totally could have seen that shit coming, and he didn't. <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> Question of the week. Theories for the end of Union Cross. The Ooh. finale of Union Cross. I like that. I like that, Wildcat Diana. Thank mm. you for being on topic. Hmm, okay. The question of the week needs to be... Wait, what? Have you all seen the... I, yes, the Do It video by Game Grumps is pretty yes. funny. And I, the I animation. Like Game the question of the week needs to be a pitch on how to put Star Wars in KH. Hmm. But we can do that, too. Little did Vader know I choke myself every night. Oh, come on. Dude, that's the fucking that's the quagmire shit. <laughs> why did Mickey why did Mickey leave Aqua in the darkness for ten years? Hmm. That's a good question. Of course Diana comes up with that, because Diana is a lore hound like we are. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with Diana's question, uh, which is uh theories for the ending of Union Cross. What do you guys think is gonna happen at the end of Union Cross to get to where we are now? Um that's a great question. All right, Jason, do you have anything else uh, you want to talk about on the podcast before we, before we wrap this thing up? Um, You guys are absolutely fucking balling. Yeah, this has been so fun. We're definitely going to do this again. Yeah. Um, Maybe maybe next month sometime. 
Maybe maybe we'll try to do a once a month thing if you guys are interested in doing it live because this is freaking yeah. awesome and doing fun. Doing it fucking live. And it makes like I was I I, I was nervous mm-hmm. and 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 sweaty and I'm very sweaty and doing the podcast normally doesn't make me sweaty. So that must mean it's a good thing. I don't know. Um <laughs> Star Wars podcast. That's something we can talk about too mm. later at a mm. later time. That's what I say to that. Do Jason's feet make you nervous and sweaty? No, he's my brother. That would be weird. That'd be weird, Boomer. But I expect that kind of question out of you. Only slightly, only slightly. All right, guys. That's going to do it for the Ansem Report podcast. If you're here with us streaming, I guess I didn't say no. You're right. If you're here with us streaming, uh, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to play the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo live on stream. So if you want to hang around for that, please do. We're going to hang out. Um, otherwise, thank you guys so much for uh, being here for the podcast, and we will see you uh, if you're if you're listening on your podcatcher. We'll see you next week. So, thanks, guys. May your heart be your guiding key. Thank you. I'm just gonna stay like this. Are you Are you gonna say fuck off? Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>